The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So for 3B, uh, we're solving another equation, this time one that involves fractions, rational expressions, instead of square roots. So what we need to do here is try to uh, get rid of the denominators, but what we first need to take into account is what numbers we can't have before we even start simplifying this problem. Obviously we can't have x equaling 1 because that would make this denominator 0. Now it would also make this denominator 0. But for this fraction, negative 1 also wouldn't work. So we can't have those two numbers right off the bat. So that'll be the reason you want to check this first is because if you do all the work and get your solutions for x, you can look right away and say, okay, that one's extraneous or it works. So, now, in order to start solving this, what we want to do first is factor this out here into x minus 1, x plus 1. So, what we need to do is multiply by all the terms that are in the denominators so we get rid of all the denominators. and then we'll just be able to solve it normally. So we need to multiply by x minus 1, by x plus 1, and by this 2 over here. And by multiplying everything times these, we'll get rid of all the denominators, and then it will just become a simple quadratic. So this first term, the x minus 1 will cancel out, but we'll be left with a 2 times an x plus 1 times this 1. So we'll have 2x plus 1 for this first term. In the second term, the x minus 1 and x plus 1 will cancel these out, and we'll just be left with this 2 times this negative 2, so we'll get a minus 4. And on the right side of the equation, the 2's will cancel out, and we'll just get a negative x minus 1, x plus 1. So you can see now we've transformed this equation, which had fractions and problems with the domain, into this one. So these two are the same, except x can't be 1 and negative 1. So let's check if that ends up coming out. So we have 2x plus 2 minus 4. And over here, this is just x squared minus 1, but it's negative, so we'll have negative x squared plus 1 if we distribute that negative. Remember that this is the difference of two squares. So this right here is x squared minus 1, but we have to do the negative to both of them. So now we just need to reorganize into a quadratic. Let's move everything to the left side here. So we'll have x squared. We only have one x term plus two x. Two minus four would be negative two, and then we subtract another one over, so we get minus three equals zero. So now we can factor this. So this is going to be x plus three, x minus one which of course gives you then that x equals negative 3 and x equals 1. Well, we just said before that x can't be 1. So this is our extraneous solution, and x equals 3 is our only correct solution. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.